how to crush dating in your 30s as a man. So if you're a guy who's in his 30s watching this video, or you're a guy who's going to be in his 30s watching this video, then I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process for how to crush it in your 30s. And most of all, I'm gonna tell you why most guys never ever get to experience this. Most men do not reach their potential in their 30s for a variety of different reasons. Settle too early, some people will just give up. You know, those things are gonna be why 95% of guys out there never ever experience their potential. So I'm gonna tell you what you can do to make sure that you are able to do that in this life. All right, so let's talk about the first thing that I see that most guys do wrong and what you can do to do right to make sure you maximize your potential. Okay, number one, is you gotta stop listening to society and listen to yourself. I don't care what society is telling you. When you turn 30, dude, I thought I was gonna be immune to it, but there's so many like messages that come from society like subliminally that are going to judge you and tell you to settle down. I don't care how many red pill videos you've watched, dude. <laughs> like, it, it'll, you'll still hear it. You'll be in conversations with your parents, with your family, with, you'll see things on TV, like social media posts, whatever it is. There's gonna be so many things that are gonna try and pressure you to settle. Settle down, just give up. Your best days are behind you. That kind of messaging is designed to keep you in a mediocre place. And look, if you want a mediocre life, listen to those messages but society is always trying to prevent you from being great. Society doesn't want exceptional people, it wants average people. So if you wanna do that, then that's fine. But if you wanna experience your potential in your 30s, then you have to stop listening to this. Even if you know, even if you know that, yes, as a guy, I'm gonna get better with age. Yes, as a guy, I don't need to worry about having children as fast as women do. Like freaking Al Pacino just had a kid and he's 80 years old. Like I'm not saying you should wait till you're 80, that's way too old, but like, you know, you don't have to be rushing to have children right now. If you wanna have kids, I highly encourage you to have kids, but if you have them too early, that can also be a problem too. Don't let society tell you how to think and how to live. Listen to yourself, because if you don't, this is what'll happen. If you don't, you're gonna settle for someone you're not super into. You're gonna have kids with that person. And then 10 to 15 years later, you're gonna be so unhappy, you guys are gonna get a divorce, and then you're gonna be back on the market again with a split household, and uh, you're gonna wish that you would listen to yourself and not to your friend's family and society. I coach these guys who are in that position right now all the time, and trust me, like they will tell you the same thing. You have to recognize that, yes, there are certain things that don't improve as you get older. Your sperm does decline, but you are not, it, it, it's not a sprint to get down there. The second thing that you can't do is you can't get lazy. This is the biggest reason, or maybe the second biggest reason, why I see guys in their 30s never able to achieve their potential. The first reason is because they settle too quick. The second reason is even if they don't settle too quick, they tend to get lazy. These are the, oh, it was the good old days back in college when we used to pick up girls and stuff. The good old days when we were super ambitious and motivated and down to make a change. No, those days can be now. You can be that person now. It doesn't have to be the picking of women, but you can be the best version of yourself. But it's going to take you going through discomfort. It's going to take you making an effort. It's gonna take you putting your best foot forward. But if you're not prepared to do that, you thought that was 20 year old Lloyd's problem, then pff, the best days are behind you. And what do you have to look forward to now? Well, I don't hold that mentality. I know my best days are ahead of me. Every single year I get smarter. Every single year I start earning more money. Every single year I learn how to be a much better person than I was previously. And yes, I got a few more wrinkles than I did at 32, but that doesn't mean that my overall attractiveness has not increased. You see, women value other things besides your physical appearance. Yes, they care about your physical appearance, but sometimes there's even things about your physical appearance with age that women prefer. I had a little bit of baby fat when I was younger, that's gone, but you know, even these wrinkles, they can, they can sometimes make you look a little bit more distinguished and mature, which a lot of people are into. It's funny, dude, you'll go through life and the women who were in their early 20s they will start looking at you differently when you're 28. They'll start looking at you as like, huh. Like when I was in my early 20s, there was women that I would give an arm and a leg to, but when I turned 28 and those women started looking at me and then I hit 32 and those women are like not only looking at me, but they're like seeing me as a viable option to marry, 
I did not think about them the same way. I'm not gonna say I thought they were ugly or anything, like, but I just wasn't like, I didn't have this burning desire to get with them anymore. There's plenty of other women that I found that were more attractive. And don't get me wrong, there's plenty of women who are around 32 years old who are absolutely drop dead stunning gorgeous and sometimes they get hotter, but that's in the minority. Most of them don't. And most of the time, for a lot of guys, if you stay in shape and you take care of yourself, it flips. So the women that you were super into that wanted nothing to do with you, now they want everything to do with you and you want nothing to do with them. It kind of has that flipping motion. So, you know, not everything life in life is fair, but it's funny how things work out in the end. Now, you'll never be able to experience that, you guys, again, but if you get lazy, like if I see a guy who's fat and balding and he's in his 30s and I'm just like, what are you doing, dude? Like you have the ability to be so awesome. And look, if you're balding, like, you know, get rid of your hair or do a hair transplant or something like there's plenty of options for you to still be awesome but if you're someone who just was like oh my best days were behind me my party days were in college and that was the time that i can get girls and now i just only have to do work and try and find a girlfriend swipe on you know hinge or something like that's that's not going to be you're not going to be able to maximize your potential in your 30s okay because that's what a lot of guys fall into and that brings me to my third thing which is when you hit your 30s Typically, not only do guys start buying into society's lies, start getting lazy, but they also stop making friends and making an effort with people. So your social relationships start to break down in your 30s. When you break these things down, it makes it harder for you to meet new women that you could potentially date. So by the age of 25, typically we stop, but we start spending less time with our friends, more time with our significant other or dating person that we're dating, uh, and less time with our family as well too, and more time on work. So typically these people, if they're not seeing anybody, all they do is work. Maybe they see their friends once in a blue moon. Their friends are typically moved all over the place, married, kids, whatever. And so they're in a spot where they're not willing to make new friends, but they have barely any friends currently. If you're in this position, you can't continue to live like this and expect that uh, some high quality woman is just going to fall out of the sky for you. I mean, she might. You might swipe on Hinge and you might get lucky. But if you want to sit around and wait for that, it might take years, dude. It might take, it might never happen. You might have to settle for someone you don't want. If you just want to focus on dating apps, the best way is to increase your life right now. Even if you are with a significant other, having friends, guy friends especially, you can have female friends too, which is you know something that I talk about a lot. Having both of those things, friends in your life, that makes life worth living. The men who regularly spend time with their friends and have a relationship or are dating women and have a career, those are the happiest, most successful people in life every single time. And it all feeds into itself. It's like a loop. And the people who are out of that, they tend to be unproductive, they tend to be unhappy, depressed, and they waste a lot of time not being the best version of themselves that they could be. So you gotta have a community, okay? I have a community, like just today, I work 80 hours a week, I'm 32 years old, I have a girlfriend, and today I was at a running club where I met a bunch of new people. Later on, I'm going to another social event. If I can do it, I know you guys can do it, all right? But it takes actual effort, and it takes knowing what to do as well too, which is where I come in. So if you're a guy and you're in this position, this, this uh, I, I notice there's so much resistance to meeting new people, so much resistance to putting themselves out there. You have to have a friend circle, and if you don't, then you want to just do the no friends thing, you know, then you'll go down that way and, and, and you will be less happy. Look, I'm an introverted person too. I love staying indoors, but I know I need people. And that's why I have people in my life. And for me, you know, it's better to have too many friends than too few. Four, in addition to not having a community or social circle, most guys in their 30s don't ever approach or are willing to experience rejection with women. They have no sort of system for meeting women, attracting them, connecting with them, and keeping them. And that's the saddest part is that, yes, you can be more attractive. Yes, you can have the amazing job and resources. Yes, you can be a more intelligent and more mature and emotionally uh, resilient partner, but it doesn't matter if you're not actually meeting women, if you're not actually getting out there and knowing the steps to market yourself so you can be attractive to those people who you truly desire.
It doesn't matter. And so what I see is a lot of times guys in their 30s, let's say they're even good looking, they have a great job, you know, they've worked on themselves a lot, and all they're depending on is the occasional hinge match, which ends up turning out to be a date that they don't even like. That's the kind of reality that I see a lot of guys going on. And if that's you, then you need to change something. And that's exactly what I change. And it comes down to the regular things that you do every single day. Like take me for instance, what did I do today? I went on a running club. There was tons of women there that I could have talked to if I was single. There was tons of friends that I ended up meeting, right? And you, by you doing these little small things every single week, crafting it for the schedule that works for you, because I know you guys are busy. I'm busy too, but I know the places to go to meet high quality women. I know the places to go to help the people out who live here in Austin and in other cities as well too. And, and that's really the difference is like knowing where to go, knowing what to do while you're there. And once you meet somebody, being able to be captivating and keep it going. Because typically a lot of guys, especially if they're the guy who's like, you know, so desperate to get into a relationship, he scares her off, you know, clearly doesn't have a life that's worth living right now that she feels like, why would I, why would somebody want to join your life if you yourself aren't enjoying living? It. If you're just sitting near your computer all day being lonely, why would anybody want to join in on that? If you both can be miserable, come on, man. The way to get the woman is to create an awesome life and then she comes in and you're like, oh, that's interesting, that's cool. Yeah, I'd be down to have someone like that. And then she makes your life a little bit better, okay? And her life gets better too. But you have to have the life to bring her in that she's gonna wanna be a part of. Okay guys, to summarize, I've given you four ways to crush it with dating in your 30s. Number one, you gotta stop listening to what society tells you. You can absolutely get better with age as a guy, but if you listen to society and you end up settling, that is the number one way you're gonna kill your chances with being successful in your 30s. Number two, you can't be lazy. Just because you haven't settled, you might be settling mentally and thinking that your best days were behind you and that's when you let yourself go. That's when you stop being the best version of yourself. So yes, a bit of this is gonna be to get in good physical shape, but it's also gonna be just from a mental standpoint to always be learning and always be growing. That's how you live your best possible life. Number three, you gotta have a community of people around you that you can have that you call friends. Like your community breaks down when you're older and for most guys, it just continues to dwindle until they pretty much have nobody and then when their girlfriend comes in, they're their only friend. And guess how long that girl stays there if she feels like she's your only friend. Number four, and this is the final thing. This is what I typically help out with the most. I do help out with the social circle, but this is what I help out with the most. You need to have a system to meet, attract, connect with, and keep women. Typically, most guys rely on only one thing, and that one thing ain't working, and that's dating apps. So if you want to get that, then reach out to me. Or reach out to somebody else who knows it, okay? If you want my help, go to getcoachedbyloyd.com. You can book a free consultation call with me or a member of my team, and we'll set you up, and we'll see if we can help you.